Welcome back to the lab. So I was once again inspired to pull this spectrum analyzer circuit from its shoe box and restore it to working order. And I did this because I was interested in seeing what would happen if I added a swept tuned capability to the existing 10 bandpass filter setup. So if you haven't been following my spectrum analyzer saga up till now, I suggest you check out my older videos on the topic. Um, but just a brief summary, it is a switched capacitor system based loosely on bucket brigades, the charge transfer devices, which time shares the main hardware of a bi-quad filter to make 10 bandpass filter outputs. So I've set this thing up to have little needle points instead of bar graphs, and I'm going to wiggle the filters back and forth using light-dependent resistors, which are illuminated by LEDs driven from an oscillator. So here goes, going to add some sweep into this. So you can see it opens up into a line. Actually, I think it might be. There. And I'm not sure how good this is going to look on camera. The sweep is at around 10 hertz, and I expect it to be interacting with the frame rate pretty significantly. So um, bear with that. I'll just sweep this tone around a little bit to give you a sense of the system. I'm just going to go down to the bottom here at uh, 40 hertz or so. I guess we were up at 340 or so maybe before. And um, some of these bins don't quite line up perfectly because I didn't actually have a perfectly exponential set of capacitors so I kind of just kludged some things together, but um, it proves the concept, I think. Let me go all the way up. Oh, there's there's the discontinuities up there. That's the way I have it set up. This is up at 10K. And uh, right now I have it set up to max out at 16.8. And I've also got a little first order anti-aliasing filter, which cuts the response at the highs prematurely because it's not that sharp. But, um, Anyways, you get the idea, just adding a sweep feature as well as having 10 bandpass filters. So I haven't really explored the math of this carefully enough, but um, it kind of seems like having 10 swept bandpass filters is more than 10 times better than having one swept bandpass filter. Because in a swept tune spectrum analyzer, you should expect to miss transients because your filter is always in some location. In this case, for the most transient signal imaginable, the lowest resolution is still only 10 bins. So um, it's not nearly as bad. It's much closer to a real-time analyzer than a swept tuned thing. And um, this seems vaguely analogous to the concept of the time savings of an FFT, um, except that you're factoring in how many bandpass filters you have to make as well. So I think that's it for now. Um, one thing I'm going to mention is that I've arranged my videos into playlists for those of you who are interested in specific topics. And um, so definitely check those out. And also, if you are if you want to um, email me with questions or comments, go to the About section on my YouTube page. And uh, one of my email addresses is there. So it's always good to hear from people um, with various questions and comments and stuff like that. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.